Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss section B of question paper of the year 2019. This uh, section B consists of six questions, each of two marks. Okay. So the first question that is question number seven. Write the smallest number which is divisible by both 306 and 657. Okay. The smallest number which is divisible by both these numbers will be the LCM of 306 and 657. So for this first we have to prime factorize 657 and 306. So you will get 357 is equal to 3 into 3 into 73. 306 is equal to 3 into 3 into 2 into 70. So the LCM will be 3 into 3 into 73 into 2 into 70 which is equal to 22,338. Okay, so that is the so smallest number which is divisible by 306 and 657. Now the question number 8. Question number 8 has two questions. You can attend either the first one or the, or the second one. So first we look at the solution for the first question. That is find the relation between x and y if the points a, x, y B minus 4, 6 and C minus 2, 3 are collinear. Four, uh, here the three points that is A, B and C, they are collinear. If A, B and C are collinear, then these, the triangle which these three points will be making, the area of that triangle will be equal to 0. That is A, B and C lie on the same line. So, no triangle can be formed by these three points so that that is uh, that is the thing that, that is a concept which we are using to find the relation between a and sorry the, by the relation between x and y so the area of triangle made by these points that is a b and c will be equal to zero we know that the relation that the formula for finding the area is equal to the uh, equation is half is half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus y3 into y1 minus y2. Now this one, this formula will be equal to 0. Now uh, if we look at this given points, you know that x1 is equal to x, y1 is equal to y, x2 equal to minus 3, y2 is equal to 6, x3 equal to minus 2 and y3 is equal to 3. Now substituting these values in the formula, you will get half into x into 6 minus 3 plus minus 4 into 3 minus y plus minus 2 into y minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, you can bring this half to the right hand side and you can substitute or you can uh, condense the expressions which is within the bracket. You will get 3x minus 12 plus 4y minus y plus 12 is equal to 0. That is 3x plus 4y minus 2y equal to 0. You can cancel out minus 12 and plus 2. Now, uh, 4y minus 2y you will get 2y. So, 3x plus 2y equal to 0. So, you will get 3x is equal to minus 2y. That is the relation between x and y. So, what is the concept which we have used is the area of the triangle formed by A, the points A, B and C will be equal to 0. And we are substituting the values for x1, y, uh, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and you are equating this, in, in this area to 0. So, you will get the relation between x and y. Now, the second question in is find the area of triangle whose vertices are 1 minus 1 minus 4 6 minus 3 minus 5. Again applying the formula for area of triangle. We know that the area of the triangle is half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. And then from the given points you will get x1 equal to 1, y1 is equal to minus 1, x2 equal to minus 4, y2 is equal to 6, x3 equal to minus 3 and y3 is equal to minus 5. Substituting the values in the formula, you will get half into 11 plus 16 plus 21 that is half into 48 which is equal to 
24 square unit. So that is the area of the triangle. Now going to the ninth question. The probability of selecting a blue marble at random from a jar that contains only blue, black and green marbles is 1 by 5. The probability of selecting a marble at random from the same jar is 1 by 4. If the jar contains 11 green marbles, find the total number of marbles in the jar. Okay. So you have, the question says that you have a jar which is having blue, black and green marbles. Now the probability of finding, selecting a blue marble is 1 by 5. Probability of selecting a black marble is 1 by 4. And in, inside that jar you have 11 green marbles. You have to find the total number of marbles. So let us uh, first denote the probability of getting a blue marble by P of X. Probability of selecting a black marble by P of Y. And probability of selecting a green marble by P of Z. Okay. So in from the question we know that probability P of X is equal to 1 by 5. And P of Y is equal to 1 by 4. We know that P of X plus P of Y plus P of Z is equal to 1. That is probability of selecting a blue marble plus probability of selecting a black marble plus, plus probability of sele selecting a green marble will be equal to 1. So that is equal to 1 by 5 plus 1 by 4 plus P of Z is equal to 1. So you will get P of Z as 11 by 20. That is number of marbles. P of Z, what is P of Z? It is actually probability of selecting green marbles. So probability of selecting green marbles is equal to number of green marbles by total number of marbles. So from this you will get the total number of marbles is equal to 20. So there are 20 marbles in the jar. The question they are given that 11 marbles are there. There. 11 green marbles are there. So the uh, denominator will be the total number of marks that is 20. Now to go into the 10th question. Find the value of k so that the pair of equations x plus 2y equal to 5 and 3x plus 4 sorry 3x plus ky plus 15 equal to 0 has unique solution. So you have to find the value of K so that these two pairs of equations, so equations will be having uh, unique solutions. So for unique solutions, A1 by A2 should not be equal to B1 by B2. Okay, so uh, if you are comparing, you will get the value of A1 as 1, B1 equal to 2 and value of C1 as minus 5. That is a general equation for linear equation. You have the general form as a1x plus b1y equal to, sorry, a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. So you have to bring 5 to the left hand side. So the equation will become x plus 2y minus 5 equal to 0. So the value of a1 will be 1, b1 will be equal to 2, c1 will be minus 5. Now for the second equation, a2 will be equal to 3. B2 will be equal to K and C2 will be equal to 15. So for unique solutions, A1 by A2 should not be equal to B1 by B2. The value of A1 is 1. A value of A2 is equal to 3. So you will get 1 by 3 not equal to 2 by K. So from this you will get the value is not value of K should not be equal to 6. So K can take any value except 6. Okay. So that is the solution. So this is the concept which you have to remember here is for a pair of equations to have unique solutions a1 by a2 should not be equal to b1 by b2. Next is the 10th question. Here also you have two options. Either you can do the first one or the second one. Look at the first question. The larger of two supplementary angles exceed the smaller by 18. Find the angles. So you have two supplementary angles, and the larger one is 18 greater than the smaller. 
Okay, so if you have two supplementary angles x and y, y will be equal to x plus 18. Okay, that is what they are saying. So what do you mean by supplementary angles? Supplementary angles means their sum will be equal to 180 degree. Okay, so A plus, if you are taking two angles to be A and B, you will get A plus B equal to 180 degree. And you have given that the larger one does exceeds, larger one exceeds the smaller one by 18 degree. So you can write A is equal to B plus 18. Now, substituting this in equation 1, you will get B plus 18 plus 18 is equal to 180 degree. So you will get 2B plus 18 degree is equal to 180 degree. 2B is equal to 162 degree. B is equal to 81 degree. So A is equal to B plus 18 degree. So what will be the value of A? A equal to 99 degree. So you got the two angles. That is the angles are 81 degree and 99 degree. Now the second question in 10th one. That is Sumit is three times as old as his son. Five years later, he shall be two and a half times as old as his son. How old is Sumit at present? Okay. Now what all? First we will consider the age of Sumit to be X and we will take the age of his son to be Y. Now according to the question, the age of Sumit is 3 times as old as his son. So X is equal to 3Y. 5 years later. 5 years later means the Sumit age will be X plus 5. What, what happens 5 years later? He shall be 2 and a half times as old as his son. 2 and a half times. That is 2 and a half into Y plus 5. That is 5 years later, so with age will be x plus 5 and his son's age will be y plus 5. So, so with age will be 2 and a half times his son's age. So, x plus 5 is equal to 2 and a half into y plus 5. Now, you already know x is equal to 3y. Substituting that in equation 2, you will get 3y plus 5 is equal to 2 by 5 into 1 plus 5. That is 2 and a half is 2 into 2 plus 1 by 2. That is 5 by 2. So I made, uh, made the mixer fraction into uh, in proper fashion. Okay. So you will get 3y plus 5 is equal to 5 by 2 into 5 plus 5. When you solve it, you will get y is equal to 15 years. You have to find the present age of Sumit. That is 3y, you have to find 3 into y. Okay, so you know, you got the value of y has 15. So, age of Sumit will be 3 into 15, which is equal to 45 years. So, that is the age of Sumit, the present age of Sumit. Now, 12th question. Now, this is the last question in section P. Find the mode of the following frequency distribution. So you have given a table, a distribution table. You have to find the mode. Okay. For that you have to find the maximum frequency. Here the frequencies are 25, 34, 50, 42, 38 and 40. Okay. So the maximum frequency is 50. So 35 to 40 that class will be the model class. So, the lower limit will be equal to 35. That is, L is equal to 35 F dot. F dot is the frequency before the model class. That is 34. F1 is the frequency of the model class. That is 50. F2. That is the frequency after model class. That is 42. Now, the length of the class. How will you find the length of the class? It is simply 40 minus 35. That is 5. Now, you know that formula for finding the mode. Mode is equal to L plus F1 minus epsilon by 2F1 minus epsilon minus F2 into H. Substituting the values for L, F1, epsilon, F2 and H, you will get the mode has 38.33. Okay. So that is the end of the section 